it's a good question. I think a lot of people think things open up more um, in the NCAA tournament. I don't know how things are like called differently, but I know this. They want to impress the people that are making decisions to go to the next game to referee. I do know that. And I think guys are a little sharper you know, as they get two, three, four days off here and get ready for the NCAA tournament. And if they you know, get assigned a game, you know, they want to try to get to that second game and just keep going. No different than a team. And I think they're going to call things in terms of freedom of movement on drives by Ivy or post play, two hands in the back, which was non existent in our league this year for Zach and uh, Kofi and a couple other guys. I just don't understand how that can't get called in the NCAA tournament. But, you know, we'll see. The one thing that we've really tried to fight, you know, whether it's Jaden or it's Trayvon or it's Zach um, with some of those calls is not, not to complain and just to play through it and be able to play through some tough calls. But, you know, you would like to think some of those things would be more closely. It's a good question. I think a lot of people think things open up more um, in the NCAA tournament. I don't know how things are, like, called differently, but I know this. They want to impress the people that are making decisions to go to the next game to referee. I do know that. And I think guys are a little sharper you know, as they get two, three, four days off here and get ready for the NCAA tournament. And if they you know, get assigned a game, you know, they want to try to get to that second game and just keep going. No different than a team. And I think they're going to call things in terms of freedom of movement on drives by Ivy or post play, two hands in the back, which was non existent in our league this year for Zach and uh, Kofi and a couple other guys. I just don't understand how that can't get called in the NCAA tournament. But, you know, we'll see. The one thing that we've really tried to fight, you know, whether it's Jaden or it's Trayvon or it's Zach. Um, with some of those calls is not not to complain and just to play through it and be able to play through some tough calls. But, you know, you would like to think some of those things would be more closely in, in, the, in the tournament. Uh, James Jones is a great coach. He was uh, Caleb in, in Jaden's U19, one of the coaches on that staff um, last year. And he's been at Yale for a, a long time. He's done a really good job. They've had a lot of success in the NCAA tournament. Obviously, during the pandemic, they didn't have a season last year, so those guys all either are newcomers and didn't play last year or guys that just had to wait, you know, a year. Um, but they're a very good basketball team. Obviously, Swain leads them on the scoring. They can really, really score the ball. But they have a good team. They, they have guys that play hard. they got some really interchangeable pieces that can defend on the wing, kind of those combo fours. The three, four guys um, really cause problems for people. The way they can, you know, guard different people, switch some things, and just kind of mix it up. But it, it's going to be a it's going to be a tough game for us. I, I know our experience last year, the tournament, and it's something I've talked about a lot is like our guys respected North Texas. North Texas was a very good team. They proved it and they beat us. But our team respected it. Our team respects Yale. We know this is going to be a hard fought game. Yes, this question at first in the of the season, but what what's the biggest thing right now for your team to be as good as they can be? Don't turn the ball over, just like it was at various times during the season. So it just, you know, you have your reference points. Um, but I think the one that came up to me when I talked to our guys about was we were so bad in the first half against Indiana taking care of the basketball, and then we went on a six-game winning streak. You know, so, like, once again, we, you know, don't, don't take care of the basketball in the Iowa game after we take care of it in the Penn State and Michigan State game. And so hopefully we can go on a six-game winning streak. After How are your relationship? Yeah, no, no, no. It's, uh, um, just knowing him through the year, I coached one of his guys um, in 2009 on our World University um, team that I coached. I think it was 2009, maybe 10. Get my years messed up. No, 2009 I was an assistant. Um What year is Draymond Green before his senior year? 2000, he was 2012, he's yeah. a senior. So it'd be 2011. So 2011, one of his players was on our team. So obviously he came there. But I've known him through the years from different things. I know his brother is the head coach of Boston. And so both those guys are great guys. And, you know, basketball lifers, you know, guys that have been in, you know, forever and, you know, will coach forever. And, um, you know, obviously James did a really good job. He's been the tournament, I think, was it three out of the last five years? Mm -hmm. I think I read somewhere. So that's impressive. You know, to have to get into your tournament, win your tournament. And, you know, you fight to get at larges, but it's so tough. You know, you got to play some guarantee games and do some different things from a non conference standpoint. How your relationship? Yeah, no, no, no. It's, uh, um, just knowing him through the year, I coached one of his guys 
um, in 2009 on our World University um, team that I coached. I think it was 2009, maybe 10, get my years messed up. No, 2009, I was an assistant. Um, what year is Draymond Green before his senior year? 2000, he was 2012, he's a sin. So it'd be 2011. So 2011, one of his players was on our team. So obviously he came there, but I've known him through the years from different things. I know his brother is the head coach of Boston. And so both of those guys are great guys. And, you know, basketball lifers, you know, guys that have been in, you know, forever and, you know, will coach forever. And, um, you know, obviously James did a really good job. He's been the tournament, I think, was it three out of the last five years? I think I read somewhere. So I, that's impressive, you know, to have to get into your tournament, win your tournament. And, you know, you fight to get at larges, but it's so tough. You've got to play some guaranteed games and do some different things from a non-conference standpoint.